Here are my personal 10 favorite books about Bitcoin, plus one book about digital currencies and Bitcoin and the whole revolution that doesn't think Bitcoin is a big part of the future. First up is The Bitcoin Standard by Safedine Amous. This is sort of the Bible for Bitcoin if you really want to understand what it is, its potential place in the world as a money. He takes you through the history of money for the first few chapters, a lot of the economics behind how that works and how money comes into a society. In the final chapters, he explains really well how Bitcoin works, the incentives behind it in particular. Less on the technology, more on the incentive and economic structure of Bitcoin. So if you're just learning Bitcoin, I would definitely start there. My second favorite book is called Layered Money by Nick Bhatia. This just came out in 2021. And if you're new to investing, economics, money, he's going to have you look at money in a different way than you ever have before. And that's in layers. So previously, prior to 1971, the dollar system was on gold as a base layer and dollars as a transactional layer. And Nick's theory is that we'll be moving to Bitcoin as a base layer with Bitcoin and central bank digital currencies being used as a transaction layer. So if you want to know how the existing system works and the history behind how we got to this monetary system, plus how Bitcoin could fit into that and replace that existing system with the same structure of layers to money, I really recommend this book. It's pretty short and it's, it's fantastic. Number three, would be The Bullish Case for Bitcoin by Vijay Buyapati. This was also a new book written in 2021, but really it comes from a long form essay or medium post that Vijay wrote on the internet a few years ago, and he turned it into a book. What's amazing about The Bullish Case for Bitcoin is he compares monies to one another like you're buying a car. So they'd have different features and benefits, so automatic doors, AC, uh, gas mileage, all this. He compares all the features of money to one another and compares Bitcoin to gold to fiat money, paper money. And it's a really fascinating take on sort of how they compete as monies. And if Bitcoin can outcompete the others, it can become the world's reserve currency. Another pretty quick book, 100 pages or something, I'd highly recommend it for beginners or anyone who's really interested in Bitcoin that hasn't read it yet because it's so new. Next up, I'd recommend Why Buy Bitcoin by Andy Edstrom. Andy is a CFA, he's a financial advisor. And if you think about it, a lot of CFAs, they inherently, like the rest of us, but they work within the existing fiat money system. So for him to step out and think about the need or the investment in a new type of money, whereas his entire job is based in the existing financial system in which he can benefit very well from, uh, you can see he's a different sort of thinker than most financial planners or advisors that you can think of. This explains really simply how Bitcoin works and its chance to grow and become a currency of the world. I think it is simply written, um, it gives more of the investment angle and so if you're interested in, should I put some money into Bitcoin? I'd read this book for sure. Next up, I'd recommend The Block Size War by Jonathan Beer. This is more a medium to longer term Bitcoiner that I'd recommend this to. I wouldn't recommend this as your first book. Um, you really need to understand Bitcoin first, which those other books I just mentioned would do a better job of that. This is a pretty niche story if you're outside of Bitcoin about a battle that took place within the Bitcoin community in 2017. So one group wanted to change the protocol rules of Bitcoin and the other group wanted to essentially keep them the same. They had different views of the economics behind that, the incentives behind that. Um, one group ended up winning and it's a really important story to tell about why to invest in Bitcoin and why you could trust in the system of Bitcoin. 
Inventing Bitcoin, I'd recommend next. Again, really short, probably under 100 pages by Jan Pritzker. A little confusing because Jan didn't invent Bitcoin, but he tells the story of how it came to be. Um, this is more on the tech side than the other ones I've recommended. So Bitcoin standard, layered money, they'd more explain Bitcoin as money and as a functioning tool in society, economic incentives, all of that. Inventing Bitcoin is more of a technical look at how it actually works. So I would, whatever your preference is, do you want to learn the technical side first, the economic case second, or vice versa, you pick and sort of pair inventing Bitcoin with a different one. Now we're going to move to a section that these books are not about Bitcoin at all, but they all do an incredible job of laying out the case for why Bitcoin is needed. My favorite in that category is The Price of Tomorrow by Jeff Booth. He mentions Bitcoin in this book, I think, one time. And so it's not a Bitcoin book at all. He, at the very end, he puts down something like, hey, Bitcoin or something like Bitcoin could be a solution to the entire problem he lays out in the book. The current financial system and form of money we have requires inflation. We constantly need prices to go up and people to keep purchasing in order for it to keep going and functioning. Jeff lays out the case, the technology is doing the exact opposite. It is causing deflation. And these two forces are going head to head and they're essentially gonna blow up at some point because they're working an exact opposite of one another. Jeff lays out why deflation is actually the key to an abundant future, as he says on the front of the book. And we need a money to match that being the case. It's fascinating. The sovereign individual is an amazing case laying out how the inter internet will, will disrupt how we live and work and also how governments are gonna fight back against that because the way they've been able to tax and control is based on an old system that's sort of thrown out with the internet. So it's gonna be this constant battle between the individual and the state because of technology. They lay out in here, and a small part of it really, that a digital currency could play part in this, but essentially it lays out what every deep, deep Bitcoiner right now feels that you can earn anywhere, you can store your value in a digital currency, Bitcoin, you can transact in that, that's a non-government money. What do we need the governments for anymore if we can do all this stuff from anywhere? What happens to governments at that point? It's a fascinating book. Next up, When Money Dies by Adam Ferguson, The Nightmare of Deficit Spending, Devaluation and Hyperinflation in Weimar, Germany. Weimar, Germany was the country that was put in place in Germany after World War I and before World War II. And they were printing money at exorbitant rates and had a lot of debt to pay back to the rest of the world. And it takes you through what happens in a society where the money is failing. Um, week to week, if your paycheck is set for the week, and most of ours are for the year or even longer, at the beginning of the week, you're able to buy things you need. And by the end of the week, the prices have gone up so much that your salary no longer can buy the things you need by a Friday or a Saturday. It's a fascinating case of what it looks and feels like to live in a society that's experiencing hyperinflation. What does this have to do with Bitcoin? Because it was written before Bitcoin and doesn't even mention the word, of course. If parts of the world are experiencing hyperinflation, which there are countries now. And if that trend grows, Bitcoin is a potential solution to it. So if you wanna know why Bitcoin could become even more necessary, I'd recommend reading that book. The Fourth Turning by William Strauss and Neil Howe. This is another book that I say is about Bitcoin that has absolutely nothing to do with Bitcoin, written before Bitcoin, and therefore it doesn't mention it at all. Fourth turning is a concept these two studied um, throughout history, how every fourth generation, 
the way a society, a culture, a country interacts is completely redone. So the first generation rebuilds after the sort of tear down. The second one benefits from those new structures and the third one benefits a little less and the fourth one says this no longer works for us. We need a new system. If this book was written about 20 years ago as well, we'll say they predicted around this time is the time for a new fourth turning. So if you're wondering what's going on, why are institutions less trustworthy or less trusted than they were in previous generations, I'd recommend reading this book. If we are in a fourth turning, there is a good chance that Bitcoin comes out as the solution for the next turning. Beyond Blockchain, The Death of the Dollar and the Rise of the Digital Currency by Eric Townsend. This is about digital currencies and the revolution and the technology behind it. Eric's pretty early from an investor standpoint in seeing this trend. He in particular doesn't think Bitcoin has much of a chance in the future and he'll lay a lot of that out um, in the book. It's very interesting. It covers sort of how governments are going to try to co-opt the technology behind Bitcoin and use it for themselves and will be playing out between private money like Bitcoin and publicly managed money just in digital form. And we're inevitably heading that way and he lays out the case for which one he thinks is going to win. It'll give you some balance and allow you to think about the other side of Bitcoin. Thanks for listening today. I hope this is useful in your journey to learn about Bitcoin. Um, I have not read every Bitcoin book, so these are my top 10. If you think I'm missing a really good one, I'd love to hear some comments below so that I can read those books and see if they bump anything out that are in my top 10 right now.